Welcome back, everybody. Finally back. <laughs> big day. Big, big day. One of the greatest days in uh, quite some time. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't heard, I mean, how haven't you at this point? Uh, Derek Chauvin, the officer that killed George Floyd, uh, was going to jail for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, found guilty on all three counts. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Voss's video on it. I was watching it live, and this is just, like, right from the beginning, uh, it, the moment it happened, the moment the judge came out and started reading it, I'm going to show you that right here so we can just uh, get up to speed on that. Hold on, let me shrink this. I haven't done this in a minute. It's been a while. All right, let's just go right down here. All right, let's do it, do it, do it. Right, just real quick. The jury is going to deliver their verdicts on the three right, charges. Be seated. Members of the jury, I understand you have a verdict. Remember, I watched this live as it happened, and I absolutely freaked out. But uh, first, uh, I guess I should show you this. This was my prediction. Let's make sure I'm all good here. Calling it now. Murder 2, not guilty. Murder 3, guilty. Man 2, guilty. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit harder to prove Murder 2, um, uh, given the circumstances. But uh, this is how it went. Members of the jury, I will now read the verdicts as they will appear in the permanent records of the 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota, County of Hennepin, District Court, 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota Plaintiff versus Derek Michael Chauvin, Defendant. Verdict, Count 1. Court file number 27, CR 20-12646. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to Count 1, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, Sorry. find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed. When I heard that, I freaked the hell out. Like it was like, yes, just just joy, just joy. Because at that point, like, oh no, he's screwed. Like that, <laughs> I didn't, ex I didn't expect that. And like, for the, uh, just amazing. And, and his his reaction, he's all confused and. <laughs> Agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1.44 p.m. Signed juror four person, juror number 19. Voss's chat is just going crazy. Same caption, verdict count two. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count two. Third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1.45 p.m. Signed by jury four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count three. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021 at 1 45 p.m. And there you have it. Guilty on all three counts. Can you believe it? Can you believe, I couldn't even believe it. Like. <laughs> such uh like this was a long time coming like and so many were saying oh you know it might just be man to uh he might just end up walking away from this entirely look at that dumb face <laughs> but nope guilty on all charges like a surprise to be sure but a welcome one <laughs> uh, i i yeah um, and so a lot of, a lot of reaction, of course, um, now Twitter leftists are going to go on poll and take screen caps and laugh at us. Yep. 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 <laughs> they were so convinced a lot of these hardline conservatives and, and fascists were like, were just so sure that he was going to walk free. And that was the fear. The fear was he was going to walk free and we weren't actually going to see any justice. 
like we for for once we saw some accountability when it comes to police uh, getting away with uh, murdering black people. Look at this. Leftists are laughed, laughing ass. They're not afraid. They're gloating and filled with joy. Oh, this is from... This is from the, uh, the election. <laughs> it's been 20 years of your life enforcing United States law, protecting the Constitution. Called to see my homeless drug addict shoplifting from the store. Clearly resist. Okay, yeah, no, all this is fake. They, they, they literally weren't like a lot of these people like are just denying reality. They weren't actually following following the case. They were just following their just the insipid right wing uh, uh, pundits and all their propaganda surrounding the whole thing, like denying just denying basic reality, pretending that he died from the overdose. It's like. If I, uh, if, if you're drunk, right, like, if we're, if we're near a pool, if you're drunk, like, and you can't really walk, I push you into that pool, you're just struggling, like, you can swim, but you're so inebriated, you can't get out of the pool, you drown. It's not your fault for being drunk, it's my fault for pushing you in, even if I, if, even if it was like a, a joke, haha. <laughs> I'm still uh, accountable. That I still killed you. I'm still going to jail. That's the same exact situation here. Uh, more reaction here. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> uh, reacting to CNN's Don Lemon. Justice has been served. And we all know he would never have said this had the reverse verdict has uh, 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 been reached. Just the, the most dumbest take imaginable. Just... Absolutely ratioed all the hell by Hassan. Almost like there's a difference between a murderer going free and not. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what an absolute idiot. Like Just why why even why even tweet this out, Ben? What the hell? Some more reaction from Z Squirrel. <laughs> One of my favorite accounts on here. Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowther, and other far-right hacks dropped the Oh my god, we have to respect due process. It is the basis of Western civilization talking point. As soon as a verdict they don't like comes in without even flinching because they're piece of shit grifters. And 100% correct. They literally, they have to maintain this facade in order to keep their funding and, uh, you know, to maintain relevant so they can just make that money. <laughs> a surprising take from Tim Pool. Uh, but then again, he's been really just hit and miss, and he's just completely dishonest. But uh, still, let this be a lesson to all police. You will get charged, you will be imprisoned, and absolutely, this should be the takeaway. Uh, like, for anyone watching, for any law enforcement, for any conservative... This 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 is going to go down in history. This was a very 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 crucial day. This is like if Rodney King uh, actually uh, went the way of justice being served. This uh, the I guess Gen Z's Rodney King. Um, but yeah, this was just a very 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 huge deal and. Uh, Hopefully this starts, you know, this is a tide that starts changing uh, a lot of police behavior. But, you know, it remains to be seen. And I have a whole lot to get to here in a second that, uh, you know, this isn't the time to rest. This isn't, this is just one case. Listen to this. Derek Chauvin is only the sixth police officer to have been convicted of murdering someone while on duty in the last 15 years there are thousands of Derek Chauvin's out there still working as cops and this is very very important the I, I keep on forgetting about this guy Daniel Schaefer Some of you don't know about this. Maybe some of you remember this, but... Oh, screw you, NBC News. 
Whatever, whatever, whatever. God damn it, all the hell. Continue to cite. Whatever. All right. Ex Arizona police officer acquitted of murder. I don't know if you guys know about uh, this. You remember this hallway? This hallway right here? So Derek Schaefer was, I guess, intoxicated, uh, trying to comply with an officer's conflicting demands, and uh, his pants were falling down. He reaches down to, to grab him, and this trigger-happy motherfucker just lights him up, takes his life away, and he was acquitted. He went free. Dewante Wright, this just happened. The cop who killed Dewante Wright meant to tase him, but accidentally fired her gun. She got charged with uh, second degree manslaughter, but uh, there's about a... Uh, <laughs> there's a huge uh, weight difference in um, uh, between your gun and your taser. And uh, they're supposed to be opposite side, like your, uh, your reach... Uh, on your dominant side for uh, your non-lethal device, your taser, and you reach with your non-dominant side. So your dominant side for your taser, non-dominant for uh, your your gun. Uh, and there's a big weight difference between the weapons. So how th this is this? She's full of shit. There's absolutely no way you could have mistaken your your gun for your taser. So and and I'm not buying it. And I don't think many other people are buying it either. But, um, yeah, 20-year-old father, just dead. Virginia police officer fired after a black army lieutenant sprayed uh, pepper sprayed and handcuffed during a traffic stop. This recently happened, too. <clears throat> and this, uh, well, the body cam footage was recently released. This actually happened back in December. <laughs> and what happened was, uh, this... Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Not committed any crime. Yeah, all the, an illegal traffic stop. Yeah, that's that's what happened here. And then the and they drew weapons. They pepper sprayed him. An army lieutenant for crying out loud. And he. Said, I'm honestly afraid to get out. Said, yeah, dude, you should be. Um, this guy did nothing wrong. His hands are out. They pepper spray them anyway. Like, if I was in his position, because he was told to uh, take off his seatbelt, I'd be afraid to reach myself because cops are trigger happy. Don't believe me? Daniel Shaver. But yeah, it, just the gall of these cops. Yeah, <laughs> of course you should be afraid because uh, cops are murderers. Blue lives murder. Uh, Chicago police fa fatally shoot 13-year-old boy during armed confrontation. This just this just happened, and they lied about it for two weeks. And the body cam footage was was released. Kid was 13. His hands were up as they shot him to death. Adam Toledo. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this isn't over. Hopefully, uh, the police that were involved in this follow the same path as Derek Chauvin. This one that just happened re uh, recently. Two Colorado officers slammed a 73-year-old uh, woman with dementia to the ground, hogtied her, dislocating her shoulder and breaking her arm. All because she forgot to pay for $14 worth of items at Walmart. Yeah, protecting and serving the community. Two, and this, is, this, is just, this is just funny. Two former California cops pulled over suspects, took the drugs and cash, and pocketed the loot for themselves. Yeah, they got a bunch of weed, a bunch of cash. Look at this. Extortion. And this is what this is what comes of uh, civil asset forfeiture. Cops it's basically highway robbery, but it's uh, legal. Yep. <laughs> un un friggin' believable. And this one. No body cam footage. 
for uh, a 16 year old who was shot and killed by a Maryland state cop for playing with an airsoft gun. Uh, the state trooper claimed the 16 year old had a knife in the airsoft gun which shoots non lethal pellets. Um, yeah, Peyton Ham was the name. Looks <laughs> real. Toy gun looked real. He was in a shooting stance. But yeah. And another one. Oklahoma City Police Sergeant charged with manslaughter for bit, excuse me, Benny Edwards' death. Released video footage shows the final moments of a man killed by uh, Oklahoma City law enforcement officer Benny Edwards, a 60-year-old Af African American, was shot three times in the back by Sergeant Cliff Holman while running away. Officers on the scene the day of the fatal police shooting claimed that Edwards was brandishing a knife prior uh, to being shot to death. Edwards died instantly from the gunshot wounds. Community members acquainted with the victim said he had a mental health issue and was suffering an acute mental crisis at the time of a police shooting because that's also happening far too often right now is uh, instead of uh, mental health professionals being sent out and uh, dispatched to respond to these mental health episodes, uh, police end, uh, end up showing up and shooting happens, shooting occurs, and uh, victims end up dying. This this happens far too often, uh, but this is just one instance of that happening. And I am reminded of, uh, oh crap, I just forgot. <clears throat> See, the reason I have the whole collection here, and this, this is, these are just altogether just a drop in the bucket. There are so many examples in the same city five police officers charged first degree manslaughter and 15 year olds death five oklahoma city police officers have been charged in the shooting of 15 year old stavion rodriguez uh Oki gas express armed robbery uh, apparently this kid was robbing the place um but regardless the kid dropped the gun and uh, over 15 officers were yelling commands at him. He reached his back pocket, and then a fury of gunfire rained out. Yeah, he dropped the gun, and what? <laughs> Does he have a second gun in his back pocket, or what? Rodriguez was shot once in the head, three times in the chest, three times in the abdomen, once in his right hip, once in his left leg, once in his left arm, once in both of his hands, and once in his right foot. And you might be thinking, oh, what's wrong? You know, it, he was robbing the place, so... Uh, well, well, the thing about that is, uh, since when was it the police officer's job to uh, execute a person on site? Uh, what happened to uh, <laughs> what happened to? Uh, I'm blanking right now. My God, yeah, I, I'm just going too hard right now. I can't think of the word. Um. Due process. That's that's it. Yeah, my brain just farting. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Uh, this is actually a really good uh, website, uh, the Black Wall Street Times. Uh, they got a lot of stories that you can look at. Um, yeah, lots of in insane stories. Chicago police union calls killing of 13-year-old Adam Toledo, which we just looked at right here. Heroic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's heroic uh, lighting up a child and killing him. Oh, uh, this one. 15. Uh, Ohio. Kill by police. This just happened today, actually. I'm reminded. Yeah, this is the one. Just two hours ago. Family, 16-year-old girl shot, killed by Columbus police, called 911 for help. Uh, girls were fighting outside of her house, and police were called and dispatched. And um, as the nation was awaiting the guilty verdict of uh, Derek Chauvin, um, the team was taken in critical condition uh, where she died at the hospital. Uh, yeah, there's body-worn camera footage of the incidents. Hopefully, we see what the hell happened. 
because this is all of this is completely inexcusable. This one, yeah, yeah. This is Adam Toledo, the Chicago boy. Uh, this is getting a little lengthy, so I better wrap, wrap this up quickly. This one especially just really, really got to me. One-year-old fighting for his life after being shot in the head by Houston police. <sighs> One-year-old boy has been in intensive care unit since early March after being shot in the head by early by Houston police. Uh, yeah, uh, Daisha Smalls was pumping gas, saw police cars and si sirens, sitting inside the vehicle when a man approached and told her to get out of the car. Her son, Legend, was in the back seat. I wouldn't give him my car because I knew uh, I, I let him know that I have a child in my car. I would not leave the car without my son. Uh, describing what the man then sat on her lap and tried to hijack the vehicle. The police, because they're so good at their jobs, right? They then shot into her car, killing the suspect on top of her, injuring Legend when the bullet entered his head, the, the one-year-old child. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so they just show up and then just, you know, just riddle bullets. At a gas station, you know, you can shoot the gas pumps, you blow the place up. They didn't give a goddamn shit. Uh, so, just un unbelievable. <laughs> now, it, it, it's hard to really just wrap your mind around... Not only f the fact that there are so many of these stories, it's literally impossible to keep track of all of these. And then you have people online, all these conservatives and right-wingers, trying to justify all of it. Like They don't care. They don't care about black people needlessly dying at the hands of police. They don't, they don't care about details. It, it's it's maddening. So the point of this video, I guess, is to say while it's fantastic that Darren, Derek Chauvin was found guilty, just remember, like, that's just, that's just one case. This is happening everywhere. Like, people needlessly dying at the hands of police because police are trigger happy, they're corrupt, they don't care. Lastly, I have a, a couple good takes from people who are notorious for their god-awful takes. Pat, uh, Pat Robins, uh, Robertson. Yeah, it's definitely. Talking about uh, Duante Wright uh, and the, uh, the, the the difference between a, a taser and a gun. This is from this as I say, they're not making tasers in this yellow color anymore. They're, they're making them they're in black. They're making them yellow. Now, how she made the difference was she shot that poor guy to death, saying, "This is what I thought. This is what I thought was my taser." And and if you can't tell the difference in the feel of those things, it's crazy. Anyhow, she deserves. But I, you know, I am pro-police folks I think we need the police we need uh, their servants and they do a good job but if they don't stop this onslaught they cannot do this you know the the police in, in Virginia picked up a a lieutenant in the army and began to give him trouble and, and our, our, our state police are highly trained but why they don't stop this and this thing is going on in Minnesota, but the Derek Chauvin, I mean, they ought to put him under the jail. He has caused so much trouble by kneeling on the, the death of George Floyd. It's just I mean, on his neck. It's just terrible what's happening. And the police, why don't they open their eyes to what the public relations are? They've got to stop this stuff. It's very good, good takes from this man, but... Uh... He's kind of been on top of it lately. He's called out Trump, and yeah, no, uh, he's not wrong whatsoever. And uh, Michael Tracy, uh, notorious for his just excellent takes all all the time, always, you know, never insufferable. <laughs>
I earn this note, I genuinely think it's good if police officers in the United States now have to think a lot more carefully about using wanton excessive force. And I I couldn't agree more. I, <laughs> I hope every time a police officer uh, you know gets the idea to, you know, how far could I take uh using force on someone how far can i take this i hope they think of this stupid motherfucker's face i hope they think of his face the confused look on his face like what i'm going to jail i'm guilty on all three counts one can only hope you know <laughs> So this was a little long-winded, but I appreciate you uh, sticking with me all all through it. Um, I I'm just so tired. Like all of this has just been so frustrating. Just it's just so dismal, you know, like. And then today, today was good. Today was a great day. We saw some account of, we saw we finally saw some accountability. This was huge. Sure, it's ten and a half months in the making, almost eleven months. But it's it definitely shows a bit of a shift. Um. The police can't keep getting away with this. Like I said, these are only a couple hand-picked examples. All only within the last four months, four or five months, uh, except for Daniel Shaver, which was back in 2017. Oh, here's another one. Remember Jacob Blake? This is the last one, I swear, and then I'm ending this. This is the one I was trying to remember. <sighs> Officer who shot Jacob Blake acted within policy, won't face dis discipline, Chief, uh, Chief says. This piece of shit... I made a video about uh, him in uh, Kenosha. This is, this is what sparked the uh, uh, the uh, the the Rittenhouse stuff um, when Kenosha was under siege. I guess Kenosha was you know having all those protests because. <laughs> um, and I made a video about it called "Facts Are Irrelevant" episode one. Um. This guy shot Jacob Blake in the back seven times at point blank range. Somehow, it was found as as necessary, as justified. Not be disciplined for his use of force. Now back on the job. This guy kept his fucking job. Jacob Blake is completely paralyzed. Probably won't walk again. So, while this guy is facing 12 to 40 years in prison, it's just one guy. It's just one guy. Um, it, it's... But still, this was a big deal, and I'm going to celebrate it by uh, firing up a CBD joint. And having some champagne with uh, my lovely significant other. So let let this let this day soak in. We saw some accountability. We saw some justice. Hopefully, we see a whole lot more. But don't let these idiot conservatives off the hook. These boot licking. 
racist motherfuckers. Hold them to account. <laughs> Shame them. Mock them. Humiliate them. Drag them for their idiocy. For their dishonesty. For their hate. For their... <laughs> Anyway, thank you all f for watching so much. Uh, I have videos on the way. I know I've been slacking. I, uh, I'm going to upload my Political Compass video here pretty soon. We're going to revisit my old channel from back in like 2018 when I was a, uh, a radical centrist. Uh, <laughs> uh, stay tuned. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you have not. Check out my other videos if you have not. I worked on them very hard. It mean a lot. Um, I'll see you all in the next one. Fucking party it up. <laughs> see you soon.